Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm going to show you what is and how to use the methodology Agile or Modern Agile. This video is also available in Spanish. Well, this is a methodology that got the following focus, which is quick management. It got the following characteristics. It is a management process conceptualized by Joshua uh, Kerspin based on four principles. Make people awesome, make safety a prerequisite, experiment and learn quickly, and continually deliver value. This process is complementary to all agile methodologies, design thinking, design sprint, scrum, lean startup, etc. It is, a, it is a cycle development that is, to say, that is always a search of improvement and continually delivering value. The modern agile allows us to develop products and services, but also to improve an extreme of product or it's already in the market. That is why some situation it is considered a development methodology and not just a management process. So this methodology is very interesting because it's focusing on improving. Usually it's not much to create something from, from scratch, but if you want to improve something, it will help you a lot. So the first thing that you need to know is that if you already have a service or if you already have a product, but also if you want to uh, make a new development or adjust a new development. I strongly recommend to use Modern Agile to adjust a development. It will help you a lot in, in that. Okay, so the four parts of this methodology is to experiment and learn quick, make people amazing, uh, offer continued value that is extremely important. If at any point your product or your service is not offering continued value, we got a problem. And make security a prerequisite. So the first thing is that we decide what are we going to do. We are going to make a new product, a new service, or we are going to adjust a product or a service. So we start with that. We start making adjustment depending of the of the kind of process that we are making, uh, and we start adjusting, adjusting and making changes. Uh, usually, if you are already making this, it means that you already make the launch and you need to analyze all of those results. In something is very important that we need to integrate, integrate all the different components in, this, in the process. And you need to know always which are the priorities, which are the priorities on the development that you are making. You have to be very specific and define all the different components. And of course, the iteration is something very, very important because it will allow you to create and understand better the different components that you are having. After that, you release to the market, so you start selling. But it's very important. If you see, there is not a specific way of develop this. You could start with define, priorities, integrate, launch, changes, adjust, and new iteration to finally launch to the market. However, you can also make it uh, ad starting adjusting, making changes, analyzing the results of the launch, integrate, define priorities, and then release to the market. So it's really very important that you keep that in mind because it will help you a lot with all the process. So the important thing here is that you always keep in mind what are you uh, want to make? But especially always keep in mind that you have to continue offering value. If you don't offer in value continue, uh, you will have a lot of difficulties in this development. So I strongly suggest that you keep this in mind and uh, focus in what you are looking for. So that's very, very important. At the end of this process, uh, you can define uh, which are the tasks that you need to make if you are making an adjustment or if you want to improve something uh, in a specific way, you have to do it. This tool should be used at least 11 
uh, or once a year. It's, it's very important because it will keep you updating your development. The fact that you have something very good right now, it doesn't mean that it will continue to keep like that. Success in using this resource is to be very specific and objective analysis made by the organization. So I strongly suggest to, to keep that and always be analyzing different components that you could have in this development and research. Thank you so much. I hope this video was a big help in your education. Please subscribe to our channel, uh, Design Thinking 24-7. Follow us on social media, LinkedIn, Instagram. Remember that our Udemy courses are already available. So in the description of this video, you can find the link. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.